Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplified Dentistry. Today's topic is depressions on tooth surface. The tooth surface is not flat and there are some elevations and depressions over it. I have already made a video on elevations of tooth surface. You can watch that video to know in detail about tooth elevations. Different depressions on tooth surface are fossa, sulcus, developmental grove, pits, and fissures. So let's know about each one of them in detail. First, let's know about fossa. A fossa is an irregular depression or concavity found in both anterior and posterior teeth. There are different types of fossa, so let's know about each one of them one by one. First is lingual fossa. These are present on the lingual surface of anterior teeth that is on incisors and canines. In incisors, there is one lingual fossa in the center of lingual surface, whereas in canines, the lingual fossa is divided into two with lingual ridge and are known as mesial lingual fossa and distal lingual fossa according to its position. Second is central fossa. It is a major fossa present on the occlusal surface of molars and are formed by the convergence of ridges terminating at the center point in the bottom of the depression where there is a junction of grooves. Now what are grooves? We'll know about it later on in this video. And to know about ridges in detail, you can watch my video on elevations on tooth surface. Third is distal fossa. It is also a major fossa found distal to oblique ridge in occlusal surface of maxillary molars. Fourth is triangular fossa. It is a minor fossa found mesial as well as distal to marginal ridges on occlusal surface of premolars and molars and is termed mesial triangular fossa or distal triangular fossa depending on its location. They are sometimes found on the lingual surfaces of maxillary incisors at the edge of the lingual fossa where the marginal ridges and the cingulum meet. Now let's know about the sulcus. It is a long depression or valley in the surface of the tooth between the ridges and cus. The sulcus has a developmental groove at the junction of its incline. Now let's know about the developmental groove. It is a sharply defined narrow and linear depression formed during tooth development separating the lobe. They run mesiodistally and are found on the occlusal surface of molars. Central developmental groove separates the occlusal aspect of posterior teeth and are not present on anterior teeth. Now let's know about the buccal developmental groove and lingual developmental groove. Buccal developmental groove separate buccal cusp on occlusal surface of molars, whereas lingual developmental groove separate lingual cusp on occlusal surface of molars. Now let's know about supplemental groove. They are small irregularly placed auxiliary groove and are found usually on occlusal surfaces and branches from developmental groove. They do not denote union of primary lobes. The third molar followed by second permanent molars are characterized by high number of supplemental grooves. Now let's know about pits and fissure. Pits are small pinpoint depressions seen in fossae of posterior teeth and are located at the junction of developmental grooves. Whereas fissure is a fault in enamel. It is found in the bottom of developmental groove and results from incomplete union of primary lobes. Thank you for watching this video and for more such contents related to dentistry, please like, share and subscribe to Simplified Dentistry.